Welcome back. So let's have a little talk about TypeScript and CoffeeScript and ECMAScript and all these different scripts out there. What's that all about? What is TypeScript? Why do we use TypeScript? Why not just write JavaScript? That's what we want, right? Um, and actually what happened is that a lot of scripts have popped up in the past and, and what actually happens is you write another language. Now that makes it better if you... There's a few reasons that this is better. You can make pre-compilers that take care of all the different issues you see in different browsers like it's not compatible with IE9 but it is compatible with blah 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 blah, blah. so you have some different compile engines that know how the JavaScript should actually end up looking and then you can write another language that can then be compiled in this engine and convert into pure JavaScript that's kind of the goal and then you can do a lot of great things with this JavaScript that you can then use in your application so we're going to write TypeScript right I also mentioned CoffeeScript and ECMAScript because they are also out there. This is the actual closest thing to JavaScript. At least that's what they tell us. Um, and TypeScript is a new boy that showed up. And that's what we're going to use. We're going to use TypeScript. But whenever we write TypeScript, we want to convert it into something that a browser can read. And the browser cannot read TypeScript. It cannot, it cannot read ECMAScript in this pure form. And it cannot read uh, CoffeeScript in the pure form. Not yet, at least. They are making browsers better and better so they can start reading ECMAScript. Okay, so how do we make TypeScript into JavaScript? We have a TypeScript compiler, TS compiler. So what happens whenever we do a build is we send our code into this compiler and he generates JavaScript. Let me show you what I mean here. Let's try and go back to our code here. First of all, if you open the file called tsconfig.json um, file, it's inside the root of your project here, tsconfig.json, there's actually an output folder here. That's what I'm going to show you now. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an ng build. Now the ng command, remember that's an Angular CLI command. So it's just a command that helps us build our project. When I do this, it'll actually take all the ts files, convert them into JavaScript, put them into small module files, JavaScript files that are actually made as good as it can be, as good as it can get, for sending it to a web browser, another client out there. You'll end up having a disk folder here now, and that's actually where it puts in all these JavaScript files. So when I open the disk folder, notice here's a lot of JavaScript files. There's also the index page. So this is actually an entirely, a full featured application that I can now deploy to a web server, right? But you have to understand here, TypeScript is just another form of code, like Java, like C Sharp, like uh, whatever, um, like ECMAScript. It's just a type-safe language that we can write. And we're going to use TypeScript, so now you know what it is. And as soon as you do a build or you do an ng-serve, it'll actually convert your TypeScript into JavaScript and present it inside a browser. That's all for the lesson. this lesson. Now you know what TypeScript is all about. See you in the next lesson.